Hello, everybody. Happy Easter. Yes, it's tomorrow. Well, it, this is Saturday for me. So hopefully this is uploading tomorrow. Happy Easter to everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous Easter weekend. Um, if you're celebrating Easter, we're celebrating Easter. Um, but whatever you're celebrating, I hope it's a fabulous weekend. Um, Today I have a, a Timu sponsored haul and it's a little bit different than how I normally do things. Um, I kind of went through today and went ahead and did some recordings on some of the things that I got in the haul um, because they were craft items. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, than how I normally do them um, because it's more of showing you the items and that was like one of the requirements that they sent me was I needed to demonstrate it so um, I did my best with what I had <laughs> um, so but all of the items and the order it will be linked in the description if you're interested in any of them it'll take you directly directly to the to the site um and so other than that um what have i been up to oh i've been up to quite a bit <laughs> um had to go to my parents and work on their clogged pipes at their house which was lots of fun um so got got that straightened out for them. Got their bathrooms working back for them now. Um, then I worked on. Um, what did I work on? I worked on some stuff here. Um, a few things I did here, and then getting ready for Easter dinner. Um, I do all the cooking for, for the whole family. So um, they decided we were going to do things a little different this year instead of doing like a ham or a turkey or something like that. We were just going to do a pot roast. Um, so I've been working on the roast potatoes and carrots and um, cabbage. They love cabbage. So got cabbage in it and then tomatoes. And I made my cornbread and I'm making um, tomato gravy, which is basically the tomatoes and the broth off of the beef roast. Um, you cook tomatoes like a jar of my tomatoes that I canned last year. I put that in with the roast and you let it cook. And um, then you take that broth out and you make like um, like a beef gravy but it has tomatoes in it, but it's really good. It's got really good flavor. It's not like full of tomatoes. Um, it has tomatoes in it, um, but it's awesome over cornbread. It's my favorite. Um, and then I still, I have a cake that I've made. I haven't decorated it yet. And then I've got deviled eggs in there that are waiting for me to come and finish those. <laughs> so, um, Miss Ruth made a blueberry pie and she made her corn pudding, um, which she always makes corn pudding and it's, it's excellent. Um, and I'll probably grab some green beans out of the cabinet, um, from my garden from last year. And so that'll be our feast. Too much food for just the one, two, three, four of us <laughs> that's going to be eating, but it'll also give them leftovers to eat through the week, and Miss Ruth will have something to take home to eat, too. So, anyway, so that's that's our plans for the day. Um, oh, this is one of the shirts that I made with um, one of the decals that I got from Timu. I've, I've hauled a bunch of them. And it says your story, your story isn't over, stay. And those who know, um, those of you that know, you know, 
um, what that means to me. So anyway, um, we're not going to get into that today. I want to um, wanted to bring this up because in the video today, I am demonstrating um, some of the Timu stuff. So it's it's interesting. It is quite interesting. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about any of it, you know, leave me a comment, email me, whichever. Um, I'll be glad to answer any of the questions. And other than that, we can get into the videos. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please do. Uh, please subscribe. It, it's going to help us a whole lot here um, at my at this channel. Um, anyway, <laughs> hit the like button. Um, that helps YouTube to see us. Um, right now, we're just we're just a little channel over here, and YouTube doesn't even see us. So um, we're raising our hand, and hey, we're here, but they don't see us yet. So if you could, please help us out hit the like button, hit the subscribe. And um, other than that, I hope everybody has an absolutely fabulous Easter. Um, enjoy the day with your family if that's what you're doing. If you're just kicked back and relaxing today and doing nothing, I hope you enjoy that. If you're working, yeah, I hope you enjoy that too. Um, whatever your day brings you, today i hope that it's fabulous and you have an amazing day um and celebrate this day for what it is okay guys y'all enjoy the video and let me know what you think afterwards in the comments and i will catch you guys okay. on the next one i received my package from timu my sponsored haul there's 13 items in here and these, I've already I pulled them out. So we could take a look and try out each one of the things that I received in my bag. Now some of them, you know, it's just not going to be able to try it out because we don't have the thing. But we've got some metallic markers. Some stuff that I assume is going to be like super glue. A package of three fabric measuring tapes which those always come in handy for all kinds of things um and then a package of three scarf um or you could put them on a shirt and i don't know what they're called this right here goes on like a rotary tool to make it like um kind of like a router this is some contact paper, marble looking contact paper. Maybe I can find something to put that on. This is like an epoxy resin measuring kit. Um, small amounts. Um, it's a bunch of little cups in there and the little squeezy things and some sticks. Package of these beautiful butterflies, which they are beautiful. Those I will definitely be using inside of my um, epoxy. This would make a beautiful bracelet. Um, the design of a bracelet. I like to use those. But this really awesome razor knife. I have to say I do like the quality of this so far. And then some little like ladybugs. So... We'll try and get one of these ladybugs, like, glued to some flowers. Then if you're a crafter, you know what E6000 is. Well, Timu has B7000. I'm guessing it's going to be about the same thing as the E6000, but we'll see. Then there is this mini heat press. And it's called a mini iron is what it is called and it is tiny it is absolutely a lot smaller than what i thought it was going to be so as you can see 
it is very small. But we're going to give it a try. We're going to see what it can do. Smiley face, how cute. We're going to see where it heats up to. And if it can make an iron-on decal go on to a shirt. We'll see if we can make that happen. And then the last thing that was in my bag is the set of the small, it's the small, um, rollers. And these are good for, like, doing furniture. These are excellent for doing furniture, which I am definitely going to be using. Not today, but I'm definitely going to be using these. And then it came with all of these rollers, which I pulled one out and put it on this handle, which is really nice. Really, really nice. All the items are um, linked in my description. It'll take you directly to these items. So, um, I will have all that linked down there for you. So, let's see what we can try out um, with all of these. This one right here, this one is nice. I mean, pretty self-explanatory how to use a razor knife. But it opens up like that. It comes with the replacement blades. That looks about five, maybe. And then it's got a guard over top of it, which is nice. That's really nice that it's got that guard over it. But for bo cutting boxes, cutting, you know, bigger things, I wouldn't use it for small craft items. I would definitely be using it for, for bigger things. Got a clip to go on your belt and then to fold it up you gotta push this right here you gotta push that right there in and then it'll fold it up just like a regular knife but it, it, it's nice it's solid it feels sturdy I am quite impressed with the razor knife it is uh It'll come in handy for all kinds of things. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Okay. I've got it plugged in. And a little light comes on. And it's red. A little red light. And I'm going to kind of watch it and see if maybe it turns green. You can see it's like tiny, tiny. Um... I'm going to see if I, oh, well, I do feel a little bit of warmth there. Of course, I'm not going to touch the, let's see if we can get this wrinkle out right here. I mean, You know, it's going to have to get quite warm in order to do a transfer, which um, I've grabbed this shirt right here, and I thought we would put, being that it is Easter time, I thought we would use this one here, the pretty flowers. And Jesus, and springy looking. No, it doesn't have any bunny or Easter eggs, but this is what Easter's all about. Right there. So, can't just throw it down there. You gotta have one of these. And you wanna make sure that you get in your center of your shirt, the center of your v-neck here, and center of your shirt. So I'm going to let this heat up for a little bit. Okay, this little iron, it, it gets hot. It takes a little bit for it to heat up, but 
it gets uh it'll, it'll burn you it definitely gets hot enough it'll burn you so so we want to look at this and make sure that we're going to get this centered in here correctly and I'm, I'm trying to look at this decal and see if it's even straight i mean this is from timu so we gotta I don't know if it's looking straight, if that's looking too far down. That is center. All right, that's going to be about center here. So. What I did is I folded it in half and lined up this and this and then did a crease right in the center so I would know where the center of this is so that we get this right. This is parchment paper. And we don't want that to move. All right, we're gonna try up on a corner of to transfer with this little iron and that would make it so much easier for people who don't you know who don't have an iron at all and you know if you're traveling this would make a good little um iron for traveling stick in a, a suitcase and it's not going to take up any room it's got a little bitty cord and That way you'd be able to press out a shirt or something if it's got all wrinkles, pants, dress, whatever. It's not going to be the quickest job, but at least you'd have one an iron with you, you know. Check this out. See if it's possible now.
So it is possible. You see that this is possible to do, to use this. You just have to be extra. And it. you absolutely can use this little iron. And the iron works. It heats up. It heats up very well. It'll burn you. Um, and fell over on my hand. So I know it'll work you. Yeah. Um, And it will do an iron on. The iron ons from these are this is an iron on that I got from from Timu. And you just go back over it, you know. If the spot isn't ironed down, then just stick the iron on it and put some pressure on it. I'm gonna show you in real time. This is a, uh, this is sponsored by Timu. They did provide me, not the iron on, that was mine, but the iron. They did um, send that to me to test it out. And that is what we're doing. We're testing this little girl out right now. And it absolutely does heat up enough to do this. You just have to make sure that you go over every bit of your iron on. Now, this would be perfect for those little bitty half ones. I've got uh, one that's the small one like this. Okay, look. There we go. Okay, the H is not down all the way, so... Again, just grab the iron. Especially, you know, if you if you can't afford a heat press, this is going to be fine for, for the iron-ons. And this is what I've been using. I've been using a regular little iron not this little, but I've been using a, a little iron to do some of my transfer stuff until that I was able to get, you know, a different one. But this is cheap enough that anybody can afford to buy one of these little ones. And like I said, it would be great for travel. And there we go. So now what you want to do. Kind of make sure that it's down good. Take this and go over it. Make sure that it's all the edges are down. And give it a good. This is parchment paper, um, and you can get parchment paper from King Lutan. I have gotten it from them. And you just want to go over it really good. Now, when you wash this shirt, it needs to be washed inside out. Take a look at Let me see if I can get you in closer to it. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You see all the edges are down. They're all nice. They're flat. I'm going to take your hand and go over it. If you feel any of the edges that are up. 
like that right there feels like it's a little up to me so i will grab my parchment paper again and the iron and go over it really good because you don't want your decal to come off and you don't want it to peel off especially if it's a kid's shirt oh my goodness they'll sit there and pick at it they will pick and pick at it until they pull it all off oh yeah that feels that feels really good y'all it is definitely hot it is definitely down there I'm feeling to see if there's anything else that feels like it's up. So, and yeah, this iron, yeah. it has a little switch on the, hold on, I'll show you. Um, it has this little switch right here. And that's how you turn it on and off. And there's a, a light right there. Can you see the light? right there I'm not sure what the smiley face is for and I yeah that doesn't open okay so that's the iron it works it works perfectly fine it's a little small but it works just fine so let's go on to our next thing okay let's check out these markers they are, well, they call, they're called metallic pens, but honestly, they are markers, what we consider markers. They are double ends. There's a thin side and a thick side. See, there's that, and there's that. The only issue that I have with it is it's not, it says metallic. It's really um, not, but it does say um, like calligraphy, but I guess that just means that thin pen, the thin end. Okay, so they don't really look metallic and I, let me show you let me go through some of them and show you um just some of the colors and that's the thin side they don't really show up as metallic the one that did was maybe the gold the gold kind of did they're not a really strong metallic but they are pretty colors um it's basic colors there's there's not a yellow there's not a red um there's a green there's a gold there's a white which the white does show up on the skin and i'll show you once it dries because it didn't show up before but once it dries, you'll be able to see it. Uh, and then there's a silver. There's a blue. The silver is kind of metallic. And then this blue. See the white showing up? Get this blue. There. And then I think maybe the black just a tiny bit. And I'm probably going out of frame, Mina. Am I even in the frame? Yeah. Okay. And then the black. Black. So, are they the good markers? Yeah, they they color good. They write good. Do I suggest getting them? Absolutely. Um, they seem to be, they write both, uh, the small end writes really, really well. Um, they color really nice. I went over, this is, I'll show you a couple of them that I did color. I colored this so you could see, this is that pink. It's really, really not metallic. 
but it is pretty. There's the silver, there's the gold. It's more of a rose gold. Um, the, and then I did this here. Well, you can see the metallic on the gold here. And then, you know, I outlined all, you know, pretty much everything on here. And you can see the metallic. And see that white? That didn't show up until it dried. And it's, of course, it's not going to show up on this paper. But the green is like that. The blue. It's pretty. It is pretty. So there you go. That's. Oh. Yeah. These markers right here. Check them out, y'all. They, they are cute. They've got a cute little design on them. The stars, moons, and all that. And they are called metallic pens. So, I will have these linked down in my description box. And this is what the... This is what this looks like. So, if you're interested... Go check out the link and get you some of these markers. They're pretty cool. Okay, now we are going to test out the glue that we can't read. And I know you're wondering, why are you showing me your flowers? Well, aren't they pretty? That's why I'm showing them to you, because they are pretty. They are so pretty. No. <laughs> I'm showing them to you because we're going to use a drop of this glue. Let's put a drop of this glue. Right, whoops. That was more than one drop. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't pick it up. Okay. That's going to dry before I get up there. Okay. Where did it go? Oh no. Well, that didn't work. Okay, if you first you don't succeed, you got to try again. But don't give up. I'm getting it. Oh, the glue is stuck to it. Okay, now it's stuck to my finger. Okay, I tried to use tweezers, y'all. Okay, the glue works. It's just like super glue, I promise you. It's just like super glue. So we're going to stick him in here. Because he's got glue all over him now. That's one of the um, ladybugs that came in my stuff. So the ladybug is now, look, it's stuck. It is stuck in the flower. Can you see? Can you see it? He is stuck in the flower. He ain't coming out now. So that's why we were testing out the glue. And using the lady. I don't know what it says, but it's super glue. It's equivalent to our super glue. So again, the link is going to be in the description. There is our little guy. Glued to the inside of a flower now. So here's the shirt. I just wanted to show you that it is done. And then this is one of those tape measures. And it's long. It it's 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 really long. It's good for like measuring the whole body. Then I did this one says you matter on the front and then on the back I think this is really cool I think everybody needs to know that but that one's really cool so then we've got this tape measure which can measure your body or measure material or measure whatever <laughs> 